As December approaches, the days grow shorter and the air takes on a crisp, unmistakable chill. Across the UK, people begin to sense the shift, autumn's golden leaves give way to the silvery touch of frost, and the landscape transforms almost overnight. The anticipation of winter is felt in every breath as the country prepares for the months ahead. Soon, festive lights flicker on, casting a warm glow against the early evening darkness. Streets and homes are adorned with twinkling decorations, bringing a sense of cheer and community spirit that helps brighten even the coldest nights. The holiday season is just around the corner, and with it comes a renewed sense of togetherness. And, as always, Britain's favorite topic returns. The weather. Conversations in shops, on buses, and at work inevitably turn to forecasts and predictions. Will it be a mild winter, or are we in for a deep freeze? The uncertainty keeps everyone guessing, and weather chat becomes a daily ritual. Winter here is more than just a season. It's a shared journey through frosty mornings, damp afternoons, and the ever-present hope for a magical dusting of snow. Each day brings its own challenges and small joys, from scraping ice off windscreens to the crunch of frozen grass underfoot. This year, meteorologists are buzzing about the polar vortex and sudden stratospheric warming, two powerful atmospheric forces that could shape our winter in unexpected ways. These phenomena can bring anything from bitter cold snaps to milder, wetter spells, making the forecast especially tricky. Understanding the forecast isn't just a matter of curiosity. It's essential for planning daily life. Whether you're commuting to work, organizing festive gatherings or simply trying to stay safe on icy pavements, knowing what's coming helps everyone prepare and adapt. Will icy roads disrupt travel plans or will milder weather keep things moving smoothly? For drivers and pedestrians alike, the answer can make all the difference in how we approach the day. Should we brace for powerful storms, relentless rain, or perhaps a rare blanket of snow? Each scenario brings its own set of preparations, from stocking up on essentials to checking in on neighbors. These are the questions a good forecast aims to answer, helping us make informed choices and avoid surprises. With technology at our fingertips, it's easier than ever to stay updated, but interpreting the information can still be a challenge. In this update, we'll break down the immediate forecast, demystify terms like the polar vortex, and explain why long-range models sometimes disagree. We'll look at how global weather patterns influence our local conditions, and what to watch for in the coming weeks. We'll explore the main scenarios for early December, from cold and dry spells that bring crisp, clear mornings, to stormy and wet periods that test our resilience. Forecasting is all about probabilities, and understanding the range of possible outcomes is key to being prepared. By the end, you'll have a clearer picture of what's ahead, and why it pays to keep an eye on the latest updates. Whether you're hoping for snow, dreading the rain, or just trying to stay warm, staying informed is the best way to make the most of the British winter. The final weekend of November brings a distinct chill with frosty nights dipping as low as minus 5 in parts of England. Daytime highs hover between 5 and 8 degrees, but unsettled weather brings cloud and rain, especially in the south and east. Frost risk lingers, especially in Scotland, as winter tightens its grip. Early next week, a northeasterly flow returns, dropping temperatures and bringing widespread frost, especially Tuesday morning. Showers may turn wintry over higher ground but significant snow is unlikely for most. The main story is the cold, crisp frosty mornings, chilly afternoons and the need for hats and gloves. Below average temperatures set the stage for the more complex weather patterns models are wrestling with for December. The polar vortex might sound like something out of a science fiction movie, but it's actually a natural and essential part of our planet's atmosphere. Picture it as a gigantic, invisible whirlpool of icy air, spinning high above the North and South Poles. This swirling mass of cold air is always present, acting as a kind of atmospheric barrier that helps keep the coldest air locked in over the polar regions. It's not a storm or a single event, but a persistent feature that plays a crucial role in shaping global weather patterns, especially during the winter months. The polar vortex actually exists in two main layers of the atmosphere. The higher layer is called the stratospheric vortex, which sits about 10 to 50 kilometers above the Earth's surface. Below that is the tropospheric vortex, closer to where our weather happens. These two layers work together, influencing everything from temperature swings to the movement of weather systems. When the vortex is stable and strong, it acts like a lid, keeping the coldest air bottled up near the pole. 
In years when the polar vortex remains strong and undisturbed, the UK and much of Northern Europe tend to experience milder, wetter winters. This is because the powerful winds of the vortex help steer Atlantic weather systems toward us, bringing rain and relatively warm air. The jet stream, a fast-moving ribbon of air, also tends to flow smoothly, keeping the coldest Arctic air at bay. But sometimes the polar vortex can weaken, split, or become wobbly, often due to sudden warming events high in the atmosphere. When this happens, the lid is lifted, and frigid Arctic air can spill southward into Europe, North America, or Asia. This is when we see those dramatic cold snaps, heavy snowfalls, and icy winds that can disrupt daily life and make headlines around the world. This sudden release of cold air is sometimes called the freezer door effect. It can lead to memorable winter weather events, think blizzards, deep freezes, and even record-breaking low temperatures. These events can last for days or even weeks, affecting millions of people and putting extra strain on infrastructure and communities. When meteorologists talk about the polar vortex shifting toward the North Atlantic, they're warning that our usual weather patterns could be about to change. A displaced vortex can push the jet stream far from its normal path, allowing cold air to surge into places that are usually much milder in winter. This doesn't always mean a guaranteed deep freeze. Sometimes, a shifted vortex can fuel powerful storms or block the jet stream, leading to long periods of cold, wet, or even stormy weather. The effects can be unpredictable, but they're always significant for our winter outlook. So, the polar vortex is much more than just a buzzword, it's a key player in the drama of winter, shaping everything from gentle rains to fierce blizzards. Understanding it helps us prepare for whatever the season might bring. Now, let's talk about sudden stratospheric warming, or SSW, a dramatic and fascinating event that can completely disrupt the polar vortex with far-reaching consequences for our weather. SSW is one of the most significant phenomena in atmospheric science, and understanding it is key to predicting extreme winter weather. SSW refers to a rapid and intense temperature jump high up in the stratosphere, sometimes by as much as 50 degrees Celsius in just a few days. This warming happens about 10 to 50 kilometers above the Earth's surface, in a layer of the atmosphere most of us never see, but its effects can ripple down to where we live. While we don't feel this warming directly, it has a huge impact on the polar vortex, a fast-moving ribbon of cold air that circles the Arctic. When SSW occurs, it can destabilize the polar vortex, causing it to slow down, wobble, or even split into two separate vortices. This disruption can send shockwaves through the atmosphere, changing weather patterns far below. The effects of SSW don't reach us immediately. It can take several days or even weeks for the changes in the stratosphere to work their way down to the surface. This delay makes forecasting especially challenging, as meteorologists must watch for subtle signs that a major shift is on the way. SSW often leads to blocked or stagnant weather patterns, weakening the usually strong jet stream. This allows cold air from the east or north to spill into regions that are normally milder, sometimes bringing dramatic changes in temperature and weather conditions. As a result, we can experience prolonged spells of cold, heavy frost, and even significant snowfall, just like the infamous Beast from the East in 2018, which brought widespread disruption and memorable winter scenes across the UK. That's why meteorologists are keeping a close eye on the stratosphere right now. Detecting the early signs of SSW can help forecasters prepare for a possible major pattern shift, giving us a crucial heads up before the weather changes dramatically. SSW is truly a wild card in the world of weather making early winter forecasts especially uncertain and reminding us just how interconnected our atmosphere really is. As we peer into early December, uncertainty reigns, thanks to the potential SSW event. The world's top weather models, the American GFS, European ECMWF, and Canadian GEM, are struggling to agree on what's next. When models diverge this much, it signals a major atmospheric shift is possible. Each model uses different data and methods, and disruptive events like SSW magnify their differences. Forecasters use ensemble forecasts, dozens of model runs with slight tweaks, to gauge confidence. Right now, ensembles show everything from cold and dry to stormy and mild, confirming no clear signal for early December. The atmosphere is at a tipping point, and we're waiting to see which way it falls. Let's look at what the models are suggesting. 
The American GFS model hints at a cold, dry start to December. With high pressure building over Scandinavia, this blocking high would block Atlantic storms, shifting our winds to the east or northeast. Cold, dry air from continental Europe would dominate, bringing crisp, sunny days and sharp frosts at night. Daytime highs would struggle, and icy mornings would become common. Some wintry showers could reach eastern coasts, but most areas would stay dry. This is just one scenario. If the high shifts, even colder air could arrive. The GFS outlook is a stark contrast to the stormier alternative. Let's see what the European model predicts. The European ECMWF model paints a very different picture, a stormy unsettled start to December. Here, the polar vortex shifts over the North Atlantic, putting the UK in the path of powerful low-pressure systems. This would mean wet, windy weather with gales and heavy rain, especially in the west and north. Temperatures would swing as storms drag in different air masses, bringing a mix of cold snaps and milder spells. It's a roller coaster, not the steady cold of the GFS scenario. The ECMWF is renowned for accuracy, but even it can't resolve the chaos this far out. The sharp contrast between models shows just how sensitive the forecast is to the SSW's impact. Both outcomes, cold and blocked, or stormy and wild, are still possible. The disagreement between models highlights the challenge of long-range forecasting. Short-term forecasts are highly accurate, but beyond a week, uncertainty grows rapidly. The atmosphere is chaotic. Small errors can lead to big changes, especially after events like SSW. That's why meteorologists use ensemble forecasts to show a range of possible outcomes. When ensembles cluster, confidence is high. When they diverge, as now, uncertainty is real. Long-range forecasts are best seen as guides to risk, not precise predictions. They alert us to possible cold spells or stormy periods, but can't give day-by-day -day details weeks ahead. The science is powerful, but it has limits. As November turns to December, the UK faces a chilly week and a highly uncertain outlook beyond. The models point to two plausible paths, a cold settled spell or a stormy wet start to December. This volatility is classic British winter, changeable, dynamic, and hard to pin down. That's why it's vital to check forecasts regularly. New data will sharpen the picture in the days ahead. Keep your winter coat and umbrella handy. Be ready for anything. Winter in Britain is never dull, and the coming weeks promise plenty for weather watchers. Stay informed, stay prepared, and you'll navigate whatever the skies bring. Keep watching the forecasts, and stay warm.